This is the graphical user interface of uh, EXE tool. Here we have three parts. This is a work area where we have two tabs, authoring and properties, and the outline area, and here I device area. And this is the menu with four file, tool, styles, and help. First, we'll check with this outline area. In here, you can develop a hierarchical structural taxonomy like uh, topics and section wise, unit wise, books and chapters that way by adding a page here. You can click on add page. Here is your topic. Once again, you click this is your section. Once again, you click this is your unit. You can always make it a topic. Uh, this you can always make it as a section by clicking this. This can be your topic and section can be your unit or a topic. Again you say add a page and this is your section. If you want to make it a topic again you click on this up arrow. This is how you can uh, uh, add uh, your hierarchical structure a preferred hierarchical structure by clicking this add page and selecting them whether you want it as a topic or a unit by clicking this up and down arrows and here is i devices area here you have this pane has various uh, structural elements that describes your learning content for example whether it is an activity or a case study or um, mcqs that is multiple choice questions or it's a scom quiz or a wiki article or just a pre a flowing text or it is an image java applet and objectives and before starting a course or a lecture, you can have a pre-knowledge page. Even that you can add here. And coming to this work area, this is work section. Here we have two tabs, that is authoring and properties. Authoring tab, uh, here it displays whatever uh, iDevice act you select. That will be displayed here. And here you can add your text and edit. We will see this in next section. Right now we will see a properties tab. Here there are again package, metadata and export panes. In package, first you can give a project title. Here I say demo. And then you can have a header background for your uh, website or a page or a course. That you can add a load image or if you don't want an image, just plain text, just leave it like this. And then give a author's name here. I can say my name here, Sushumna. And then license. Here, whether it is a GNU or a Creative Commons attribution license, you can add it right away here. And then footer. Footer, uh, default footer for all your pages. And the description of your course you can add here. And this is the taxonomy option. Level 1 is topic, level 2 is section, level 3 is unit. This is by default. If you want it like book and chapter, and then uh, lesson wise even that you can do for example I say this book and my next section will be chapter and this can be oh my power is almost over so lesson I say and then I say update tree settings are saved. Here you can see those updated versions. If you want to make it chapter, you can see this. See this became a lesson. Again, a next book starts here. This is the basic introduction and here is a file option. Here is save, save as, print, export. You, you can export it to or SCOM 1.2 or IMS content package or directly a self-contained folder website or a zip file or a single page or a text file or iPod notes and styles we'll see here some styles default style is this gray background or you can have this green with a garden background and blue and silver or if you want a slate or a sand white you can choose here and here is a help file tutorial is there manual is there and there are some exe website directly from here you can go or you can chat and then get some help. This is the interface of EXE tool. We will see how to work, how to build a material using iDevices in 
next tutorial